Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Tad Shell. And I'm Damon Ramos. It's Wednesday, November 9th, and we're here with your daily announcements. During your first period classes, you have the opportunity to earn donuts. The first three period classes with the lowest percentages of tardies in the month of November will receive donuts in December. The mock election results are in. The winners are Gavin Newsom for governor, Angelique Ashby for California State Senate, Stephanie Nguyen for California State Assembly, Bobby Singh Allen for Mayor of Elk Grove, Alex Padilla for U.S. Senator, and Doris Massery for U.S. House. The votes for Prop 1, Prop 28, and Prop 31, and Elk Grove Measure E were all yes. Thank you to everyone who voted in the election. From now until next Tuesday, you can try and join the Wolfpack wrestling team. Both men and women can join. They meet after school almost every day until 5.30 in the MP room. For more info, contact Coach Ivan or the athletic director, George Smith. Last year's yearbook is now on sale in the student store for only $20. You can stop by during both lunches and pay with cash or card. Make sure to get yourself a copy before they're gone forever. Now, let's pass it on to Nisha and Ethan for entertainment. Welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Newman. And today, let's dive into some Netflix news. As much as we wish it wasn't true, Netflix is getting a new advertisement for its new subscription tier, costing $7 a month. Speaking of Netflix, Across the Spider-Verse has been announced to release in June of 2023. Different spiders will be joining the sequel, such as Spider-Punk, voiced by Daniel Kula. The new comedy show, Wednesday, will also be released on Netflix on November 23rd. It follows Wednesday Adams, played by Jenna Ortega. I also recommend a new Netflix show that came out on Netflix, uh, came out, Blockbuster. What's it about? It's a comedy series about people who work at the last blockbuster, starring my boy, Randall Park. As the owner of this fine establishment after corporate fell, it's uh, definitely a show for those who love to watch movies, uh, with all the references it makes. Sounds great. Well, we're out of time. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Nguyen. See, See you later. later. Thanks, Nisha and Ethan. Now, let's go to Darren and Jonah for sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado. This is your sports update. Let's go. Let's talk about our cross-country team this year's progress. Matthew McDonald led our varsity boys team and got first place at Pleasant Grove, second at Atwater and William Jessup, third at Davis, and first in subsections. He's representing CO in sectionals. Let's all wish him luck. He basically holds all the school records for long distance running. Dang, I couldn't run like that. Thanks, Richard, for the data. Good job to the rest of the team beating Franklin by 16 points. Also for our girls varsity team, freshman Brianna Williams had a good season finishing before our other runners, but our team didn't qualify for any sections. Good luck next year. Lastly, let's recognize Aiden Covert for his running in boys, fr freshman, and sophomore and getting good places. Don't forget our very own Richard Pickett on our JV team. Hey, Jonah, check it out. We actually have our cross-country runners here right now. Let's hear what they have to say. Hey, guys. Nice to be here. Do uh, you guys have any thoughts about our – could you introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Aiden Covert, and I'm a sophomore. Hello. My name is Matthew McDonald, and I'm a senior. Hi. My name is Brianna Williams, and I'm a freshman. And um, how do you guys feel about your season this year? I feel like we did really well considering because we could come like in the morning all the time and I feel like we're a really hardworking team and uh, we, stay, we put a lot of hours into our team and like at school and practice and uh, even though we didn't make it, to, most of us didn't make it to sections, we still made it to subsections and, uh, and we made it to championships and we did really well uh, considering. All right. Uh, what are your guys' favorite memories from this year? Um, I think of our, one of our, my favorite memory is the bus ride where uh, Elk Grove forgot that their bus, um, the bus time, so we all cr cramped up in one single bus, and we, uh, and we, <laughs> we, we dropped them off at back at their school, and it was hilarious. Aiden, what was your favorite memory? Uh, my favorite memory has to come from all the different spaghetti feeds that we've had this season. So basically what happens is every day before a race, um, we get together and we have a bunch of food and stuff. And it's all really fun just to make sure that we carb load right before our race. 
That sounds nice. Reminds me of our team dinners. Um, I would say my favorite moments in cross country were just practicing with my friends on the girls varsity team and s and some of the other and the frost soft boys team as well and ev and everybody else too. And you're a freshman, right? Yeah. On on the varsity team? Yes. How was that? Um, it was really it was like really like nerve-wracking for me at first because I didn't know like if I was going to do well compared to everybody else. But I would say that for a freshman in the varsity in the varsity team, I would say that I did pretty well for this for my first like official season in high school. Awesome. That's great. Do you guys have any final thoughts? Um, no. Nope. Do you guys have any final thoughts? Okay. Well, um, thanks guys. Uh, now let's uh, move on to some football interviews. Um, it was a little rough, <laughs> but um, I think now that we've uh, kind of come together as a team, uh, we ended on a win, you know, uh, I love these guys, uh, I love the sport, I think. I'm happy I got to be here. You know, it's tough. You know, that's my last game as a senior in high school. Uh, but, you know, at least we came off strong and came off good and finished with a win. Uh, we did well as in uh, coming together like as a team and, uh, and uh, as like brothers and just working hard to the end. This <laughs> right here. Hey, man, right this, dude, this dude is impressive, man. That's all I got to say. Trench mob. Man, he liked that. That's all I got to say. Go Go Wolf back. <laughs> all right, thank you, Darren. Thank you. Go Wolf back. For World Sports News, you know what day it is, Darren. Yeah. Last Sunday, from my hometown, the Jacksonville Jaguars beat the Raiders 27 to 20. I, I don't want to talk about it. Well, the but how do we blow another lead in the first half? I mean, our offense this year has been abysmal. So is the defense. I don't even know where to start to talk about how th the problems we have. It's been a rough day, man. I, mm. I can tell. The Jets also beat the Bills 20-17, to which frankly was surprising. The Jets have actually done decent this year with a 6-3 to record thus far. Dang. Finishing off the NFL, this week the NBA starts with a hot start for the Bucks and the Nets, suspending Kyrie Irving. From what I'm aware, it was because of some anti-Semitic posts. Yikes. Also, the Lakers have a 2-8 record right now, and people aren't very happy. We'll be sure to keep you posted. In the MLB, the Astros beat the Phillies for the 2022 World Series in a 4-1 victory in Game 6. Surprised to see the Phillies make it this far to the championship game, especially with their worst regular season record of any team in the playoffs. Wow, no kidding. I mean, a real underdog story. Good for them. As we wrap up, remember to stay tuned for next week's sports segment, where we'll cover more of school's winter sports coming up. Now, back to the anchors. <laughs> Thanks guys. There is an extension for senior portraits. The new and final deadline is Monday, November 28th, which means you have about a month to ensure that you're featured in this year's yearbook during Thanksgiving break. See the yearbook website, the senior Google Classroom, or the newsletter for more info. If you signed up for any AP exams, please check your Synergy email to see if you are registered to take the correct exam. That's all we have for your day, Wolfpack. I'm Tad Chell. I'm Dan Ramos. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Louisiana, Louisiana Day, Wolfpack. Day.